Hello and welcome to Geek Ditch. Today we're going to be talking about particles and antiparticles. But first, let's look at photons. Photons are a burst of electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves are an electric and a magnetic wave travelling in phase with each other, at right angles to each other, vibrating in the direction in which they're moving. All electromagnetic waves in a vacuum travel at the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 metres per second. We can calculate the wavelength of an electromagnetic wave in a vacuum by dividing the speed of light by its frequency. If we're not in a vacuum, we divide its speed by its frequency. Photons are emitted by charged particles that lose energy, so electrons being stopped or slowed down, or moving to a shell of lower energy in an atom, emit photons. We can calculate the energy of a photon by multiplying its frequency by Planck's constant. 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. Laser beams are created by photons of the same frequency. The power of a laser beam is the energy per second transferred by the photons. This is calculated by multiplying the number of photons passing a fixed point each second by the photon energy. To learn more about how lasers work, click here. Paul Dirac was writing down the equations obeyed by electrons and found a mirror image solution. This predicted the existence of a particle like an electron, but with the opposite electric charge, the positron. It was later discovered in a cosmic ray experiment. Positrons have the same mass and energy as electron, but carry a positive charge. This was the discovery of antimatter. When particles and antiparticles meet, they destroy each other and release radiation. This is called annihilation. We can also produce particles and antiparticles from a photon. This is called pair production. When we're talking about the energy of a particle or the antiparticle, we use the electron volt. This is the energy transferred when an electron is moved through a potential difference of one volt. One electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Annihilation produces two photons. This means that the minimum energy of each photon is half the total rest energy of the particle and the antiparticle. In pair production, the minimum energy of the photon needed is equal to the total rest energy of the particle and the antiparticle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my Google Docs folder for questions and answers. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.